Hello there, and thanks for stopping by. My name is Felmar, and this will be my sixth round in this Nation's Cup at Dragon Trail International Raceway. With the limited time I had this week, I didn't get too much practice, and I only have an opportunity with one race, so we're going to have to make this one count. With that, let's jump into the race with me trailing two coats of wax here. We're going to enter a tricky corner that can sometimes unsettle your car, and then you'll see Ivan Bass here. He went wide, and he does exactly what I'm mentioning. It's a difficult corner I found during the, the small practice I had. Let's fast forward to the death chicane entry where five of us are going to have to crowd in, get some single file action going here. This should prove adventurous thrilling and chaotic coming into this section on the first lap and you'll see me drive through somebody you're gonna see Scarfy here ram into the back of K John and you're gonna see C Turbo slam into the wall on the left side he's got actually gonna sustain some engine damage which is gonna send him to the back of the pack where he'll join me in my battles until then, currently it looks like nine of us made it through at least somewhat successful. We've got a, a little bit of a pack uh, in the midfield here. Why not flip back to the dash came? Okay, but this one in VR, you can see some leg. It almost looked like everybody slammed into the wall. Could have been chaotic. Now this stretch on the third lap here, I actually end up reclaiming a couple of positions. But at the start here, d on my left side. I'm going to take the inside. I try to hit the apex on this and definitely mess it up. I know there's somebody behind me, but I can't see him in the mirrors or when checking. Check on the radar there, my blind spot. This is unique, doesn't happen often. And as, as you can see up ahead, somebody is recovering from an incident. We'll revisit that, but coming down the stretch, seventh is definitely looking like a possibility with dodging him and D-Jax. We're coming down into the Deshikane entrance. Maybe we could try a good old switcheroo. d -Jax goes a little bit late, but I'm also a little bit slow, so I'm going to have to get behind him. Now coming down to Desha Kane, we got a little bit of a single foul. We should survive this for now, but really bumpy car. and Definitely unsettling in VR. It's... A little bit crazy sometimes. Then we're gonna have what made my overtakes possible here where a fellow Canadian gets tossed to the side. And as I was getting past snacks earlier, another poor soul was trying to pass him and ends up doing some ping pong across the barriers, coming into the dash cane with some damage. Unfortunately, this is where I'm distracted. As you can see, I'm changing settings, breaking by us, and I miss my breaking point going into the wall here. This essentially sets the rest of the race where I'm going to be fighting in the back of the pack. You can see I go off wide to the right there. Now, coming into the... Oh my god, nah, I just did. Uh, that was the leg, obviously. And then Ivan Bass and myself. We're going to be racing competing for 11th position, and you're going to see him a lot from this point on. Sea Turbo, from his crash earlier, we'll encounter him a bit more too. We survived the dash he came there, but Ivan Bass has a little bit of leg. Looks like he was going wide. He's, he's doing pretty good then. Unfortunately, he goes a little bit wide on the next lap on the same corner. This is where I actually claim 11th position. Now he's going to have to fight his way back up. Dash cane fun. Do I survive? Yes. A little bit bumpy again, but we survive. And then actually at the same time on the same lap, uh, the first clips the wall. So not everyone is immune to this. And then also third, just behind him, hits pretty much the same spot. This will be a theme throughout today. Now flipping over to the lap 11, you got Ivan Bass, C Turbo, and myself. But unfortunately... Only two of us will survive. As Ivan Bass goes into the barrier there, we are right off to the sunset. And why not join another VR death chicane adventure? That one was pretty close. Ooh, uh, off to the left. Looks like nobody crashed behind me either, so we're pretty good. Sea Turbo actually manages to sneak past me on the first cor or second corner on the 
eighth lap there, so I'm gonna be back in chase mode, but it's all about this death chicane. Oh, whew. ooh, close there for ninth position, and then fifth position here, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna sustain some damage as well, so definitely more casualties and see turbo up ahead going wide, allowing me to catch up. Now I'm looking on the inside here on the turn, I lake break. Looks like he gets under me, I get on the outside of the corner. I managed to come out a little bit quicker, so coming into the death chicane, he's going to line up a little bit behind me. And we should survive this to tell our stories another day. See, Turbo's looking to take back 11th position. Last time he cut on the inside, but this time he's sticking behind me. Comes out faster here. Must have upshifted. I've been having problems with that little hill there. And we're literally a shoe length away, so I aim for the apex to gain some distance. I might lose a little bit of speed, but just trying to be safe here. And C Turbo stick stuck behind me. Heading down on the straight towards the death chicane. I think he's currently just sticking to my driving line. We see 10th up ahead, so there's an opportunity of some mistakes or we keep our paces up. And Sea Turbo goes under on the corner. I stay on the outside knowing that if I stick to the left, he'll have to maybe back out up ahead. And it looks like he will as we enter the death chicane. We all live at the death chicane. And I actually end up hitting the wall there. Knowing this, taking damage, I let C Turbo by. I'm not going to slow him down. He's doing pretty good. We might meet again. And then here's Ivan Bass, and we'll unfortunately see his catapult into the barrier again. And this time with a 0.5 penalty added to his crash. As we look towards the death chicane, and I hit it. Sustain front right, back left damage. It's not full damage so I'll survive but I won't be winning the race I don't think I was to begin with and Ivan Bass just passes me on the first corner on the 11th lap so I have to work try to get that back get a couple laps and you can see the death chicane to survive it on the next lap and then first on the 11th ends up tapping it again no damage for him this time and then here's some VR death chicane. And ooh, we just looks like we lost somebody there. And it looks like Ivan Bass. Engine damage, front left tire, front bumper. Unfortunately, he'll uh, be ending back with us. Fifth, it's a close call. Back right tire damage as his car slid. Looks like I survive. Lap 13. Tires are definitely low on the front of the car here, and unfortunately, see turbo hits the wall here. VR action on the 14th lap. Not bad. Survived. It didn't light up too bad. And then, fortunately, on the next death chicane. I pin the wall pretty hard, getting some damage. Coming to the first corner with K John, maybe I can catch him. We're gonna have to make very few mistakes as I come into the final corner before the hairpin. My car goes almost flying and having to brake earlier than I expect with the tread being quite low. I gotta be careful on this final death chicane approach. I don't want to lose any more positions, and it looks like I survive. Overall, I think with the lack of practice, I did alright. I don't have another chance to best this, as I think I got better with the car as the race went on. My lap times were nowhere close to the top pace here, but I think I had a fun race with Ivan Bass and C Turbo. Definitely kept the race interesting, other than being by myself. 47 seconds behind first, with no practice, a bunch of mistakes, and one death chicane death on my part. I think that was alright. Hopefully round 7 will be better at Grand Valley Highway. Until then, 
I'll see you on the track.